Okay, today we're going to talk about installing Debian SID on the current stable version of Debian, which is known as Jesse. And we're going to add a little other software in the process to make the job a little bit easier and harder, easier to deal with. So let's get started. Okay, here we have a fresh version of Je Debian Jesse 8.1 installed on my machine. As you can see, we're using the 3.16.0-4 kernel, and we're running GNOME 3.14.1. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a useful piece of software and that is called apt list bugs and what that will allow us to do is when using aptitude instead of apt get we'll be able to choose what software we'll install based on the bug reports so once again we'll be using aptitude instead of apt get and we'll install apt list bugs and apply your uh, password and good to go hit enter and it'll ask us to confirm and of course since the yes is capitalized the y is capitalized that means that yes is the default just hit enter okay and that will allow us to install the software we need as you can see it installs Ruby as well so if you're a Ruby developer you're you've got a head start on developing Ruby on your machine okay now we're going to open open our sources list and we're going to update it to allow us to install the testing version of Debian which is known as stretch so I'm going to use gedit to do this but you can do whatever your favorite text editor is I'm just going to write type sudo gedit etc apt sources dot list and hit enter which will open up the sources list in a uh, root configurable text editor and allow me to make changes to the editor because you can't do this unless you are root and here we are the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the contrib non free designation to all our software lists all our software repositories that way we can have access to all the software we're going to need to update this machine we're also going to uh, comment out the uh, CD-ROM because we're not using that anymore after the install okay and uh, progressing along the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change all the Jesse designations in the file to stretch and we'll use a uh, we'll use find and replace for that
Okay, good show. Now we can close our software sources list after we save it. And I will do a pseudo aptitude, not apt-get, aptitude. This is Debian. So let's try and do things the Debian way. We'll do pseudo aptitude update. And we'll update all our sources lists to stretch instead of Jesse. As you can see, we're going to have over 901 updates. Now we'll do a distribution update, upgrade I should say, using aptitude again. And here's one of the advantages of using aptitude right here. As the uh, tree is listed, it'll also look at the possible conflicts and ways to resolve the dependency problems, as you can see. Just choose yes on that. Just hit enter. Okay, so we've done our updates. As you can see, we've updated 901 packages. And they're now all uh, to the stretch versions. And now let's reboot. We'll reboot into the stretch version which is the testing version of Debian 8.1. As you can see, we're still using the 3.164 kernel, but we've updated to GNOME 3.162. Now we're going to update to SID. We're going to upgrade to SID, I should say. We'll pretty much follow the same procedure we did last time. And l as a reminder, anytime you're given a choice while the uh, aptitude is updating and it, it asks you to make a choice, the default will be yes, so you can just hit enter. Okay, we're going to open our sources list again. Procedure is a little different this time around. Since there are no updates to SID, we're going to comment all the updated, the update repositories. And we're going to replace stretch with SID by using find and replace again. Again, I need to remind you, all the update repositories are not necessary. In fact, they will throw an error when you try and do an update in the terminal. All you need is the basic Debian repositories, none of the update ones. So you're going to need usdebian.org, usdebian.org, and then http debian.net. And you may not have the exact same ones in your sources list, but generally speaking, they should be relatively the same. Let's save and close our sources list. Now we'll do a distribution update, or we'll do an update again. Aptitude update. Of course, remember to use sudo. And now we'll update all our software lists to the 
SID versions versus the stretch versions. Outstanding. 126 updates to go. Okay, so let's now do aptitude distribution upgrade. And as the software is downloaded and installed, of course it's going to ask you if you want to do this and just hit enter because the default is yes. And again, if you have any if it has any questions for you regarding uh, bug lists or possible conflicts just accept the default of yes and hit enter and we'll move it along we'll just change through that now we're back on Debian 8 but now as you notice the uh, desktop uh, wallpaper has changed because we're on SID now we're no longer on stretch and you'll also notice our kernel is 4.0.2 and we're using GNOME version 3.16.2 and that's pretty much the whole dog and pony show and uh, you can uh, install a, a default version of Debian 8 and uh, use these, this procedure to update to SID so that you'll have a rolling release that you can keep current at all times. And as a reminder, unlike Arch or Gen 2, Debian's packages, even though they're considered testing and unstable, are far more, far more stable than the Arch and Gen 2 packages because the Debian people are more consistent about maintaining their package repositories. You'll also notice as you work through the operating system that you're going to be still using Nautilus 3.14. For some reason that hasn't been updated yet. I'm sure they're working on it and before long we'll be up to Nautilus 3.16. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it taught you a few things about running SID and using Debian as a rolling release. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And uh, we're going to shut down our system and go have a beer. Once again, like I said, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the area below. And I'll be glad to get to them as soon as I notice them being there. I hope you enjoy your uh, version of Debian SID. And uh, it brings you many years of enjoyment and computer marvelousness. <laughs> what can I say? Have a nice day.